All right, guys, welcome back. I'm out on another fishing trip. I brought Lando with me. Um, like I said in the past video, I'm going to be showing you what I picked up at the store. Um, I've been filming for the past couple days, just sort of going around, testing everything. So I think I got a pretty good idea on how everything works and how I like everything. So uh, I'd like to share it with you guys. We're just on a completely different side a place I've never fished before. It is really cold even though it looks sunny today. That's why I have a sweater and a vest and a sweater underneath it. So the fish are probably up a bit shallower so maybe using a topwater bait is going to be our best bet. Yeah so we're just going to be uh, boating around see what we can find. The fishing has been very good recently um, as you're going to see in the videos me and Peter went out a bit of time ago and we kept catching uh, largemouth bass. Where all the big ones are. Oh. Fish? Yeah. Really? Nice. Uh, net? Oh no, I think he dubbed him. It's a largey. Beauty. Be that's a decent sized yeah. large. That's a, that's a large mouth. Look at this one. It's a beat large mouth. First fish of the day for me. First fish on my new rod and reel, actually. And that's not a bad way to start. Look at that thing. <laughs> yes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, hopefully we can get lucky and catch one of those again for uh, you guys on camera. <sighs> Look at this. Been raining for the past couple days, so even uh, even if it's cold, a nice at least semi clear day is definitely welcomed. Come on, Lando, let's go! Come on, buddy. So, I thought I'd start with the most important thing, uh, at least the largest item I picked up while I was shopping. Lando, sit. And that would be my new rod and reel. Um, yes, I know I did go in there just to get a new reel, because uh, my one broke in the last video, but you know how it is in a fishing store. So I came out with the SLX Shimano fishing rod and reel package. Um, they had a really good deal going. At least that's my excuse. Uh, if you got the rod and reel together, then there's 70 bucks off the rod. So yeah, this is actually my first bait caster I've ever owned. And I am absolutely loving it. I heard a lot of, uh, a lot of horror stories about getting these, like with the uh, backlash and stuff, but I actually haven't had that happen to me yet. And it's just, beautiful I love this rod um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail of what I picked out and stuff I'll probably do that in a different video um, but I did get a slow action reel for uh, jigging and crankbaits which brings me to my new favorite lure in all the photos and videos of me and Peter going out this is uh, the one that caught those bass this is just a beautiful crankbait uh, with a vigorous action lip and it is I'm guessing kind of looks like a uh, crawdad a red crawdad and has two tri hooks but this thing is a monster it has been working so well for me I've never had a lure work so good um, I'll do some close-ups so you can really see the pattern and stuff but it's a pretty big bait 
but I've had like bass as big as this going for it. Almost every time it touches the water, I catch something. So yeah, I'm really loving this. It's already got a whole bunch of battle scars, bass uh, teeth marks on them. When I'm working this bait, I uh, don't do too much fancy stuff. Just um, like if you reel it in, just straight out, just normal reel, uh, you'll catch some fish. But I find if you just give it a little yank, reel in twice or three times, and then yank again, gives it a really cool uh, movement that seems to attract fish pretty well. So. Lando, how's my fishing, buddy? You getting tired, bud? <coughs> okay, so I might just uh, head back for lunch now. Um, I'm going to be testing out all these new ones uh, a bit later in the afternoon. I just sort of came out in the uh, nice sun. Oh, sorry came out in the nice sun just so then uh, the footage would look a little bit better when I'm sort of showing my stuff because the uh, bass bite better in the afternoon anyways um, Lando's pretty tired too and keeps whining because he's hungry so I'm gonna bring him back eat lunch quickly and then uh, head out again I know, come here. Cast of this out and something went for it. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No way. That is crazy. No. Look at this thing. Wow. This is a giant. With that, with that crankbait. Man, that is definitely by far my new favorite lure. Came up with a tree as well. So yeah, we're gonna head back and show off. <laughs> wow, that's a smallie. Yeah. Now that's a big fish. <laughs> Is that beauty? That thing's beauty. Where'd you get him? Right at Caitlin's Cove. Wow. With your new rod and reel? Yeah. What kind of lure? The same red one that's been working like that crazy. Old, that yeah. is crazy. Look at that thing. It's a DC. Nice fish. Wow, that was absolutely awesome. 
that wasn't even intentional. I just cast it out and then I was going to go and pick up the camera and say something when I saw something playing with it. So then I just let the line sit out for a bit and then I saw it just go, whoom, came right out uh, from under the water and came up and just snagged that thing. Man, what a nice f said my camera did die. Uh, the GoPros are dead because I was out here pretty much all day. And um, now I'm just filming with my iPad, which is uh, not the best vlogging camera since it's so big. It's kind of hard to hold. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was pretty surprising near the end. Um, I'll leave the links to all the things I bought, like my rod and reel, and definitely that lure in the description in case you guys want to pick one up. So, now you guys know what my absolute favorite lure is. Um, by far, without a doubt, this is it. I've just had so much luck with it recently, and I've never had a bait work this well where every time I go out, it's giving me amazing results each time. Um, as far as it goes, just that simple crankbait, uh, cinch knot on it, works every time. We have a lot of crawdads here. Uh, when you flip over rocks, you can see them all skimmy around. So uh, maybe that's why it works really well, but I don't know, there's just something about it. I know red is a good color for fish. Um, so yeah. Let me know what your favorite type of lure is. If it's a crankbait, softbait, just whatever it is, just let me know. Um, I'd love to try them out. If, if anything works as good as this setup, then uh, yeah, I'd be glad, glad to hear that.